it should be okay, just well, basic, well. yes. No, it's like okay. So uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever works for you. Uh, welcome to one more session of our Logic and Revision webinar, which is organized by Lara, Logic and Revision Association. And so, as you probably know, the Logic and Revision webinar is designed to, to be a new platform for scholars interested in the relationship between Logic and Revision, Recent Fate, Rational Inquiry, and Divine Revelation. Its sessions uh, take place once a month, all, always on Thursday at 4 p.m. Central European time. So uh, our speaker today is Professor Mohammad Gozorgi, Bozorgi, sorry, from the Iranian Institute of Philosophy in Iran. And the session will be chaired by my friend Ali Dagigi, also from the Iranian Institute of Philosophy in Iran. So I, I, I ask all of you to mute your mics, all right? You probably know the idea is that um, uh, Mohammed will talk for about uh, 30, 40 minutes, and then um, we are going to open for, for questions. So, Ali, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Ricardo, and everybody for joining us and also for inviting my friend uh, Mohammed uh, Bozorghi. Uh, he is an Islamic scholar in Iran. His area of research is uh, around Islamic philosophy and mysticism. And today he's going to talk about the notion of contradiction in Islamic philosophy and mysticism, particularly around a particular figure, which is very important in Iranian uh, school of thought uh, called Mullah Sadra, uh, who is not uh, very well known internationally unless, uh, unlike uh, Abyssina or other uh, Persian uh, scholars, but a uh, very important annotation, and his uh, ideas are uh, somehow related to the priest notion of priests, Graham priests notion of dialectism, and uh, he's going to explore around this concept. And uh, without further ado, I leave the floor to Muhammad for uh, uh, for starting his talk. Uh, not to mention that uh, this uh, particular line of research is a joint project between me, Mohammed, and Graham himself uh, to uh, compare the Iranian uh, line of uh, Iranian uh, philosophy called notion of contradiction and his ideas of dialectism. So uh, thank you very much again for uh, giving us uh, the opportunity for presenting this line of work. So Mohammed, please start. Uh, so that's one guy, sorry, Please open your microphone. Open your microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to this meeting. I apologize if I speak English hardly. Uh, in this speech, I intend to show that Mullah Sadr is talking about a kind of prediction that requires us to accept two truths that are contradictory to each other, prediction of truth and prediction of dilution. This prediction is it's hurt while it is affirmation is negation uh, mean uh, something exists and doesn't exist. I mean uh, a thing is its essence is both itself and an other. Uh, Mullah Sadra's views should be probably what is called a dialectism. Because in this case, we have something that represents two contradictory trusts. Um, since the principle of contradiction has an important place in the history of philosophy, and most philosophers and logicians have accepted it, the claims that oppose that principle are often faced with difficult challenges. 
uh, a direct uh, consequences of this of this is that the principle of contradiction is not true at least in some cases um, in the history uh, philosophy there are opposition to this principle for example nicolas kasunas eckhart hegel and marx are among the most prominent philosophers against this principle um, the dialectism is the point of view that the climate can show who it is. It means to show how a contradiction can be true. Uh, this view is more famous than anyone else with Grand Priest. Uh, Grand Priest believed that the contradiction is not only probable, but also positive. Mm, I want in this lecture reread Grand Prix's dialectism in Molla Sadra philosophy. Uh, Molla Sadra is completely in the tradition of Islamic philosophy. Uh, despite this, he established uh, principles in his philosophy that were unprecedented in Islamic philosophers before him. Uh, the most important pillar and theory in Mullah Sadra's philosophy is the ontological fundamentality of existence. Uh, in Arabic, asalat wujud. In Farsi, asalat wujud. According to this theory, what is in the context of reality is existence. Uh, and quiddities is abstract from their infinite limits. According to Mullah Sadr, existence is simplex. So it is neither divisible nor has parts. Existence has unity, it is one. Uh, on the other hand, all other objects, both those that are realized in the mind and those that realized outside realized by existence if it does not exist nothing else will will exist and now uh, existence is manifested in different way and is realized in the mind or outside in the form of different object although everything is from existence and all objects are his Existence is contrary to all facts. No, uh, the existence is same with everything. The existence uh, equal, uh, equal with everything. But existence is external realization does not need anything outside of its essence. Uh, these objects, unlike existence, have a different quality from their existence because they are the same with they exist. They are opposed to existence. They do not exist. Um, the sameness of all objects with uh, existence result the unity, the unity, oneness. Polarity in the world will not create a problem in the unity because every multiplicity is only a manifestation of existence as, and in a way it is existence itself. Therefore, there is a true contradiction in the theory of unity. Uh, uh, so uh, there is a question here. Is the theory of unity a theory of dialectism? Uh, Mullah Sadra has another theory in the heart of the theory of ontological fundamentality, fundamentality of existence, which is very important. 
the combination of these two theories has led to an important development in Islamic philosophy, which can solve many problems, which can solve many paradox and uh, present question. Uh, this is a theory of the gradation of being, gradation of being, uh, mean uh, level of existence. Molasado's basic problem in explaining existence is that if the world is only existence and existence is equal to unity, what is the origin of multiplicities? And who can these multiplicities be explained? According to the unity and this theory, the universe in its most basic structure has a downward progression from undifferentiation to details. In other words, in Sadra's philosophy, the world is actually a title that shows the reflection of God's existence. Here, Mola Sadra's great innovation show itself by combining the above theory while maintaining the unity of existence, he divided existence into independent existence and uh, relational existence, two existence, independent existence and uh, relational existence. God is only independent, independent existence. Uh, uh, in contrast, all beings are relational existence. Uh, the, uh, the relational existence like the rays of sun has no independence of itself. They are because they are connected to the source of existence. According to Mullah Sadra, there is no place for the principle of causality. Rather, he speaks of a unity truth that manifests itself in lower level. Entities are not affected, but relationships. Each of these beings is uh, concrete, concre concrete in its own container, but is nothing in relation to independent existence. Uh, the obvious contradiction is in this special rule of Mullah Sadra. He says that simple existence is all thing. A simple existence is all things. And none of them, it is contradictory. Um, in the mystical view, the one is all beings in this unity. And seen all beings are contained in his being before, uh, therefore he is everything and nothing. Uh, this statement is contradictory. How Mullah Sadra solved this paradox? How? We know common prediction is ordinary prediction in philosophy and logic. Uh, for example, the proposition, the horse is white, is a common proposition that shows the ratio uh, of a quality to substance. But the proposition, the soul is body, is not like that. Because the soul is ma material and the body is material. The soul is not the body and the body is not the soul. But in Mullah Sadra's view, the soul is body. How, it, how is this possible in Mullah Sadra logic? 
This can only be explained by the principle and from the foundation of Mullah Sadr's metaphysics. Now, um, according to Mullah Sadr, uh, Aristotle's logic and Avicenna's logic is the logic of quiddity. Uh, it is clear that the quiddity within the limit of its essence is self-affirmation and negation of the other. The logical, uh, the logic of quiddity is the logical, uh, logical uh, logic, the refuse contradiction, but the existential logic of Mullah Sadra is not like that. Uh, and entity can ha have two truths on two or more level. Now, uh, everything in this logic has appearance and interior. The validity of prediction in this logic return to the truth of existence. For example, God. God is absolute existent. This, ex uh, this existence is infinite. According to Mullah Sadr philosophy, the assumption of every creature before God is shared, is uh, disbelieved. Therefore, polarity should be seen in the mirror of unity, just as unity is seen in the mirror of polarity. A prediction of truth and uh, dilution shows that conflicting and contradictory Con, uh, contradictionary, contradictory boundaries of objects are, are resolved at the wall level. Some have, uh, some have said that the belief in contradiction and conflict in the divine realm is mostly due to linguistic difficulties. But Mullah Sadra shows that this issue is completely real, is real. Uh, I would like to explain briefly another theory of Mullah Sadra here. This is a theory that bring our problem closer to Hegel's philosophical structure and his uh, dialectics. This is a theory called, Mullah Sadra called, substantial movement. حركت جوهری، الحركت الجوهریه، این عربیک. Substantial movement is another formulation of uh, uh, multiplicity in unity that Mullah Sadra expand on its, on in uh, the description of nature. This theory is based on the idea that the system of existence, according to this doctrine, has two errors, fixed and fluid. Mullah Sadr's ex uh, existential philosophy shows that change and movement is not separate from stability. His philosophy is uh, becoming philosophy. Uh, as well Heraclitus, as well Hegel, as well Nietzsche. According to Mullah Sadra, the existence of fluid has no quiddity because existence is never stable so that the mind can abstract a quiddity from its stability. Mullah Sadra says that movement is a waving of existence and non-existence. The fluid existence is a combination of existence and non-existence which are dialectically moving toward uh, an end and fixed quality. Therefore, everything is both itself and not itself at the same time. Uh, actually, is Mullah Sadra a dialectist? Maybe. I think that a deeper study should be done on Mullah Sadr's philosophy. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच okay thank you very much mohammad for your presentation uh, so if there is any question uh, we can have uh, one two any any number of questions and if there is a difficulty to convey the uh, the concepts and questions i can help with translation so uh, the problem with mulatadra is uh, that as i already mentioned uh, in islamic mysticism and philosophy there are specific jargons and uh, lexicons that are not translatable to English in proper way. So one needs to expand on the concept and uh, take a deeper look in the meaning of each word that these ancient scholars are using and medieval scholars are using. So uh, as Muhammad mentioned, uh, Malasada is believing in a kind of fluid uh, nature of the existence and so this specific theory and doctrine of philosophy in mysticism or in Persian mysticism is uh, very influential. So uh, with all of that, uh, any questions, remarks, anything? Okay, Ricardo, please. Yeah, my, my virtual hand is, is up. Okay, th thank you very much, uh, uh, Professor Mohammed, for your, your talk. Thank you, Ali. And uh, yes, yeah, so I, I, I do have a question uh, because this thing came to my mind because basically it seems to me that uh, Mullah Sadr is, is, is dealing with the, the old, the ancient problem of unity and multiplicity, right? And um, it, it was not clear to me, I would like you to clarify that, because, because many traditions, they, they tend to try to explain away the contradiction instead of accepting it. So I, I, I'm sorry for that, for asking that, but it, it was not clear to me because you spoke about two kinds of existence. So it, 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 it was not clear to me whether Mullah Sadra, he accepts the contradiction or he tries to explain it away. Okay, as for translation, Dr. Uh, قدیمی بیشتر سعی میکردن تناقض رو رفع کنن به جای اینکه بپذیرن حالا این پروسه اینه که مولا صدرا میپذیر تناقض رو یا ایشون سعی در رفع و در واقع حل و فصل به تناقض ببینید اینکه در سنت فلسفه اسلامی تناقض امتناع تناقض و امتناع اجتماع تناقض یک امر ثابتی هست کاملا درسته Okay, uh, he says that in this, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's correct to say that in Islamic uh, tradition of thought, which is uh, somehow uh, related to the uh, Greek uh, line of thought, uh, it's uh, a principle that they should not accept contradiction. So in principle, they try to uh, solve the contradiction. اما, اما مسئله مهم اینجا این است که در واقع پذیرش امتناع تناقض در سیستم عرستویی و ابن سینایی است که اینها در واقع به وجودهای متباین اعتقاد دارند یعنی در واقع okay. هر ماهیتی متباین از ماهیت دیگری است بنابراین نمیتونن در حدود یکدیگر دخالتی بکنند اما okay. در فلسفه مولا صدرا The point is that in the mainstream Islamic uh, line of thought, uh, which is uh, very close to what Avicenna and Aristotle are telling us, uh, there are different types of uh, in contradict. They believe in contradictory types of existence, so uh, they cannot accept the uh, contradiction. ولی مول... مولا صدرا که فلسفهش فلسفه در واقع عبور از ماهیت هست و فلسفه وجودی هست و وجود رو یک امر واحد میبینه بنابراین تناقض هایی که وجود دارن ناشی از مراتب وجودن و با پذیرش این مراتب که با هم متباین هم نیستن به نوعی یک تناقض باوری رو ما میبینیم Okay, but in Mullah Sadra, his uh, concept of existence is different. He sees all sorts of existence in a unity, and he sees the contradiction between different types of existence as different uh, graduation level, uh, different uh, levels of the same existence. So he doesn't see them in uh, 
uh, in a uh, horizontal way in against each other, but in a vertical way in uh, different types or levels of existence. به خصوص توی تئوری حرکت جوهریش این کاملا روشنه که یک وجودی که در حال حرکت هست هیچ ماهیت در واقع ثابتی نداره بنابراین هر لحظه هم هست هم نیست خودش مولاسد را تأکید میکنه که تا وقتی که متحرک حرکت میکنه هیچ ماهیت ثابتی نداره و در واقع وجودیست مرکب از وجود و عدم بنابراین این هم okay. هست هم نیست هر لحظه که هست نیست و هر لحظه که نیست هست اوکی سو مولاسد را بیلیوز این هی هز ا تئوری کالد ا سبسیتیو موومنت اند هی بیلیوز دت این دی موومنت اف این اگزیستنس دیر از ا موومنت این اگزیستنس سو این ایچ موومنت ایوری تینگ بوت اگزیست اند دازنت اگزیست ات دی سیم تایم لایک you can never uh, uh, swim in a river twice because the, twi- the river e- existence is fluid in some, something like that. So it's a, a little bit close to Taoism or uh, this line of thinking or Buddhism. So uh, this is his view. So in, in this view, Mola Sadra also accepts it, a kind of contradiction and uh, being and not being at the same time. مهمتر از هر چیزی اون در واقع اون حملی است که ایشون در واقع اختراع کرده ابداع کرده حمل رقیقه و حقیقه که یک موجود یک وجود واحد میتونه هم خودش باشه هم چیزی دیگری باشه یعنی در عین اینکه چیزی هست چیزی نیست حمل حقیقه و رقیقه یعنی که یک موجود کل در عین اینکه خودش خودشه چیزای دیگری هست و اون چیزها هم نیست در این حال به این میگن حمله حقیقه و رقیقه so here uh, Mola Sagar uses one of these uh, specific jargons that we cannot translate properly it's called uh, probably could be translated to diluted prediction or uh, something like that which allows a thing or a, a, a object to uh, to have contradictory uh, kind of properties at the same time. Uh, he calls it diluted, uh, the diluted prediction, something like that. So, yeah, okay. So, uh, I guess- Yeah, uh, 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 okay. I guess- Yeah, 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 I Uh, روشن تر بشه برای دوستان okay. he said that uh, he is uh, trying to translate this uh, type of concept into the international language of philosophy so that everybody can understand what these concepts are about so uh, any other question Ruth, Ruth uh, Shurman do you have a question yes thank you Ali okay. thank you Mohammed. Um, Ed, I also have a remark to the problem of um, unity and multiplicity or multiplicity and unity and the apparent contradiction that gives. But it seems to me that the supposed problem there is based on a a false assumption. And basically it's that the unity of God or being or myself can be compared to the dreamer And the multiplicity is only in the dream that appears to me. So those two things, the dreamer and the dream, both exist in a sense, but the one exists in itself and the other only exists in me or in God. And if you confuse the two and you think that what appears to you really exists, then you have contradiction. But if you see that the appearance is just appearance and unreal, and only the unity, the dreamer, is the real thing in all that, then that seems to explain it. Now, I'm, I understand that Mullah Sadra and Ibn Arabi and so on are familiar with this dream metaphor, but don't accept it. They don't see it as a solution. And I, I can't understand why this is not the solution to them. 
maybe you can explain that. Okay, Doctor, you should have silver and you can have silver of the pin and day. Kepari, Darope, to the bad that the castrat to another Korea and Arabiba Mola Sadros or Shode. Shunigan came as non boink a lot of shan as Mudu. Is Mamma to see that? Okay, so you should begin. باید که این ابن عربی و ملاسات را آگاهی داشت از از این تمثیل ولی رو به عنوان یه حل بعد کسات نمیفهمی رو بدن یعنی چی بود از خواب را خواب بیننده خب ملاسات در آثارش به این مطلبی که ایشون میگن اشاره ای نکرد اما برای حل وحدت در کسرت اون چیزی که ملاسات را در واقع ابدا کرده و حتی از ابن عربی خیلی جلوتر هست یعنی خیلی پیشرفته تر هست در واقع قاعده است به نام قاعده بسیط الحقیقه یا کل الاشیاء چیزی که بسیطه کاملا بسیطه همه اشیاست یا در مورد نظریه حدوث نفس حدوث روح نظریه که داره این است که روح از جایی نمیاد دو تا چیز نیستن بلکه یک وجودی است که دو تا در واقع ظهور داره یک ظهورش میشه روح یه ظهورش میشه بدن حتی در مورد نفس که دارای حالا اینو این رو بهتر بشه بله هی سایت دات مولا سات دازنت منشن اسپیکریمنتری مر کانسپت این his works, but he invents a kind of theory which is in Muhammad's view far more advanced in what Ibn Arabi is telling us. Uh, the the so-called basic al-haqiqa theory. This is a, a kind of universality. He uh, he uh, produces a kind of universality that exists and uh, sees everything as part of it. So an example is uh, the way he interprets the notion of ghost and the body. And he says that it's not a duality that ghost exists in a separate type of existence and body exists in separate. But it, these two are different types, different forms of the same uh, existence or the same type of object. So this is the way Mola Sabra approaches Hello. the problem. Okay. Nukte muhemtar. Khey nukte muhemtar is ke Mola Sabra bara in ke وحدت در کسرت هستی رو توضیح بده به من اشاره میکنه من یعنی اون چی که اسمش میذاریم نفس من خود و میگه این خود دارای این همه قوا هست قوای محرکه و قوای ادراکیه مثل عقل و خیال و وهم و غضب و شهوت و تمام اینها میگه با اینکه در نفس کسرت هست اما وحدت این دقیقا توضیح وحدت در کسرت هست که اون میگه که برای اینکه ما بتونیم بفهمیم نزدیکترین در واقع موجودی که میتونیم اون رو بررسی بکنیم خودمون هستیم بنابراین میگه این من در این اینکه یک من یک پاچه و واحده دارای این کسرته یعنی من وقتی کاری انجام میدم همان عقلم همان خیالم همان وهمم همان قذبم هم و در این حال یه چیزم Okay, so uh, Mullah Sattar brings another example. Uh, he says that the human, human itself is a good example of such a uh, type of uh, unity in the uh, uh, multiplicity, uh, multiplicity in the unity. So uh, the person has imagination, has the relation, relation and has uh, different types of desires. And he is one, but still uh, is a uh, type of... Uh, Yeah, multiple type of being. So he brings them uh, the example of human itself as a kind of uh, extension of the chair. Okay. در واقع این نشون میده که ملاصد رو خیلی به نظریه تشکیک وجودش در واقع اصرار داره به خاطر اینکه حتی وجود واحد انسان رو مشکک در سطوح مختلف میدونه. یعنی یک موجودی است که در واقع بودن نیست شدنه و در این شدن لول های مختلفی رو طی میکنه و در تمام این کسرت های در واقع حتی زمانی که انسان در گذشته و حال آینده است در این حال یه چیزه okay, 
yes, it's traditional multi-layered existence. And uh, uh, he believes that uh, it's, it's more about becoming rather than being. So, uh, so it, everything is becoming uh, rather than being in, in the moment or not being. So uh, even in human that many consider a single being, uh, he sees a layered type of existence. So he sees human as uh, layers after layers of type of existence and he becomes, uh, finds its existence in, in a pro kind of process in a river type of uh, notion of uh, uh, simultaneously being and not being and in, at every moment. So, uh, that, من یه یک توضیح دیگه که لازمه بدم این است که این اصلا تمثیل هم نیست یعنی این نه مثال نه تمثیله مولا صدر معتقد هست که وجود واحد صادر میشه نه اینکه چیزی ازش جدا میشه یعنی خودش رو در لول های پایین تجلی میده و این لول های پایین ترکیب هستی نیستی هستند یعنی اگر قرار بود فقط هستی باشن اونها هم نامحدود می شدن بنابراین این ترکیبی از هستی نیستیه بنابراین وجودهای صادر شده از خدا وقتی به خودشون نگاه میکنن هستن ولی در نسبت با خدا فقط نیستن یعنی هم هستن هم نیستن اون نظریه وجود رابط و مستقل has layers of earth. He, he actually gives the existence to the other beings. And those beings have both being, both existence and not existence in themselves uh, at the same time. From their own perspective, they exist. But in respect to God, they doesn't exist. So this is uh, some type of rel relative uh, perspective on the existence. So uh, something exists in the, if uh, the, the point that something exists very much depends on your perspective. If you are looking at them from the perspective of God, they, doesn't, they don't exist because uh, the uh, uniqueness of the existence. And if they look at themselves, they exist because uh, for the limited perspective of it. Okay, so thank you very much uh, for your nice question. Another question I can see in the chat, one actually uploaded for using the chat. Is there a subjective moment uh, in the Hadeus reference to uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. well, 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 ذهنی سابجکتیف در اشاره به دیالکتیک وجود داره تو صحبت شد در مولا صدرا خب مولا صدرا هرگز کلمه دیالکتیک رو به کار نبرده اما در واقع بر اساس نظریه قوه و فعل که البته مولا صدرا وقتی وجودی به این قضیه نیما میکنه قوه و فعل رو در واقع وجود و عدم میدونه بر این هر موجودی که داره حرکت میکنه در لحظه ای که وجود داره باید معدوم بشه و در لحظه ای باید موجود بشه و این نفی و اثبات ایجاب و سلب همینطوری ادامه داره تا به نقطه نهایی برسه و وقتی حرکت تمام شد تازه ماهیت پیدا میشه یعنی موجود ثابت میشه و یعنی همواره سیاده این کاملا با هگل در موقع میشه گفتش که برابری میکنه Okay, so uh, he's not sure uh, what you are asking for, but uh, he says that uh, uh, in Mona Sadra, uh, there is no mention of dialectics in terms of Hegelian terms, but uh, in the theory of power and action, he says that uh, these two are uh, the same type of, he, he believes in the same type of becoming, and uh, he says that uh, the uh, the final status of an object or a thing is not fixed until its uh, movement is done. So in the process of movement, uh, the thing neither exists neither uh, nor doesn't exist. Uh, it's becoming. So we, we don't know whether it exists. It's uh, something, something like uh, the quantum, the modern view of quantum, the view 
without the last observation, you don't have a deterministic view of whether the thing exists or not. It's in, in a kind of superposition uh, in the model status field. And the Mohammed compares this with some ideas in the agnostic view. In, if this Man, is what you is a, Okay. Man, in Nukhtaram is a program that the model status field زمان حرکت و مدت سه تا چیز نیست آقای دکتر زمان حرکت و زمان حرکت و چی آقای دکتر و ماده 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 جسم جسم اینا هر سه یه چیز هستند یعنی جسم همان زمان است زمان همان حرکت است و با اینکه اینا یه چیز هستند سه چیز هستند ببینید حرکت جوهری ثابت میکنه که زمان بعد چهارم ماده است زمان بعد اوکی سو دی وان اف دی انٹرسٹنگ انٹرسٹنگ پوائنٹس ان مولاسات وچ کورسپونڈز ٹو مودرن تھیوریز اف فیزیک ایکچولی از دیٹ ان ہیز ویو ٹائم موومنٹ اینڈ میٹریل ار ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپس اف دی سیم کانسپٹ اینڈ ہی سیز دیٹ دی ٹائم از ایکچولی ان دی ڈائمنشن اف دی ایگزیسٹنس اف سمتھنگ سو The, the view of dimension is uh, present in his, in his work. Okay, any other question? I cannot see anyone. Okay, Ruth, please. Do you have another question? Yes. Okay, if time sure. allows and there's nobody else, okay. I would want to get them. Um, coming back to the becoming, Becoming is only applies only to things in the world, right? To the creation. So if God does not come. So I'm asking: Does does Muhammad or does Mula Sadra agree that God is absolute existence, being, oh, and the solid. creation? Oh, very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, you are you are asking whether for uh, whether uh, you say that Malasadra is uh, viewing every type of existence that type of becoming. It, does this type of becoming also applies to the concept of God itself? So it exactly. might be problematic. Okay, yes. uh, uh, Doctor, you should be for saying in Shodan, you in the Darvoh, uh, halat seyruviyati ke alamat bi farsi mikin. داره وجود ملا صدرا برای موجودات حادث و دیگه دنیا و اینا قاعده یا برای خود خدا هم یه همچین چیزی قاعده برای وجود خدا نه خدا ثابته خدا در وحدت خودش در واقع ضرورت داره و برای اینکه حرکت به خاطر پیدا کردن کمال هست موجودی که کامله هیچ حرکتی نداره آه. اما یه چیز خیلی مهمتر من بگم این بزرگوار که میپرسم من خیلی بهشون علاقه من شدم ببینید خداوند یه چیزی را نمی آفرینه و بعد بهش حرکت بده آفرینش او همان حرکته یعنی خداوند حرکت آفریده و در حرکت موجودات خودشون رو متجلی می کنن خودشون رو نشون میدن خدا حرکت آفریده طبیعت همان حرکته نه اینکه یه چیزی و بعد بهش حرکت میدیم خود حرکته بنابراین جهان هر لحظه هم هست هم نیست این همون چیزی که ابن عربی و عرفا میگن که تجدد امثال یعنی در هر لحظه خدا جهان رو می آفرینه و از بین میبره گرچه مولا صدرا اینو بله 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 بل. اما میخوام بگم که این نکته که ابن مولا صدرا ابدا کرد این است که خدا قبل از مرسد هرگز این گفته نشده که خداوند اشیا رو می آفرینه و بعد بهشون حرکت و تغییر رو میده یا نه آفرینش موجودات یعنی حرکت خود حرکت و موجودات در حرکت خودشون نشون میدن اوکی محمد سیز در این مناسب از بیو از گاد از کامپلی and uh, does not need or can uh, to move uh, movement is for incomplete types of existence so you move towards something that you are not complete or you are becoming something so this becoming does not exist in the uh, uh, concept of the existence of god itself but in everything else mola sandra believes that the creation is movement itself So the, the creation, it's not that uh, God uh, creates something and then gives it movement. 
the movement itself is creation. So when God mm -hmm. moves this the field of existence, it vibrates it somehow uh, in terms of physics, it's actually becoming things. And this is a, like particle physics. In, uh, you, you have a field and this field vibrates and things come to existence. This is this type of uh, view. A, a kind of fluidness in uh, the existence. آی دکتر ببخشید آی دکتر به عبارت دقیق تر از نظر همه فیلسوفان و عرفا قبل از مولا صدرا حرکت یک عرض اکسیدنت که به سابستند یعنی جوهر وارد میشه از بیرون در حالی که مولا صدرا میگه حرکت ذات جوهره yes. ذات جوهره So uh, in Mullahs, uh, uh, against any other philosopher that believes that uh, movement is something that happens to a thing, uh, in Mullah Sadra, uh, movement is part of the existence of a thing. So it's part of its essence. So, uh, uh, and Muhammad especially, thanks for your uh, nice uh, questions and remarks, and he's, uh, he's very interested in more interaction with you. So, thank you. So Ricardo, Oh, Ruud, any other question? Any other remark, please? Uh, if I may, Ricardo. Um, so I totally agree that the creation is becoming. The world is becoming. The universe, life is becoming. But God is not. God is being and is not becoming. But in the talk, you said Mullah Sadra believed that things could both be and not be. But I don't see that opposition then. God is, and the creation is becoming. No, there's no contradiction. I'm the dreamer, and the dream becomes. Well, that's fine, right? <laughs> تناقض انگیز باشه مثل همون مثال تمثیل خواب و خواب بیننده رو بازم مثال دارن که ظاهرا ایشون تناقضی در این شدن نمی بینن که هی این شدن مستلزم وجود و عدم وجود در همزمان باشه و بنابراین حالا خب ما باید خیلی بیشتر از این بتونیم مولا صدق را امیختر مطالعه بکنیم حدت ما هم این, این فعلا یک فرضیه بود که آیا میشه از این چنین نتیجه گرفت یعنی به نظرم میرسه که بله در وادی اثبات ممکنه که ما اینو تناقض بدونیم ولی ممکنه در جهان ثبوت یعنی در جهان خارج چون جهان خارج به قول خود ملسد و همش وجوده و هیچ جایی برای عدم وجود نداده بنابراین تناقض در جهان خارج کاملا محاله منطقه ما اینو در واقع پارادکسیکال میبینیم یک نوع ظاهرا متناقض و ملسد رو نمیخواد حتما بگه که اینجا تناقضی است هیچ جام نگفته ما فقط خواستیم ببینیم آیا این میتونه یک نوع دیال تیزم باشه یعنی واقع دیال تیزم رو ما تناقض بابای ترجمه نکنیم چیزی دو حقیقت داشته باشه چیزی دو تا حقیقت داشته باشه ملسد رو اینو کاملا قبول داره نه تنها دو بلکه ممکن چندین و چند حقیقت داشته باشه اوکی محمد سید that uh, I am exploring the uh, comparison uh, comparison between uh, ملسد را and uh, دیال تیزم and he is trying to find out uh, whether these two are Uh, comparable and he says that in his understanding of dialectism one can read it as not having a contradictory theory essence or contradictory existence or existing or not existing at the same time but simply having multiple truths attached to the same thing so something has multiple types of truths rather than one unique truth it's, it's actually Not uni uh, uh, it's actually questioning the uniqueness of truth somehow. So uh, he says that it's yep, uh, we man, need a deeper understanding, understanding of all that about uh, making sure that we are actually making the correct. Okay. من میتونم اینو اضافه کنم که تو همون مثالی که گفتم وقتی مولا صدر رو نظری حدوث جسمانی نقص رو اثبات میکنه میگه که نقص و بدن 
دو حقیقت از یک چیز هست بنابراین وقتی ما بگیم که بدن روح درست گفتیم و اگه بگیم روح بدنه بازم درست گفتیم میخوام یه دو تا حقیقتیه که با این که متناقضن ولی واقعا یه چیزه ما بتونیم وجودی ببینیم and parts of his work more or less are actually emphasizes on uh, on this the fact that uh, multiple truths can be assigned at the same case so he again says that it's correct to say that ghost is the body and body is the ghost so these two are different types of the same uh, different facets and different aspects of the same thing. so uh, ricardo any question yeah go Yeah, that, that's a follow-up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I had the same impression as Roots because, um, he, because you, you, you open your talk to uh, mention uh, priest and his idea of dialectism, and uh, of course the, the, the key, the, the key issue and the key point of, of and the controversial aspect of his thought is that uh, one object might have contradictory properties. I have property F and might not possess property F in the same sense, right? In the, in the same sense, that, that's what a contradiction means. And, and, and it seems to me, that's why I, I asked the first question. It seems to me uh, that, uh, that uh, the idea that has been presented here is, is, is really an attempt to, to explain away the contradiction because you have existence in one sense, existence in a kind of different sense. And then they might claim that the thing exists and, and doesn't exist. And, and then I asked, because you, in the beginning you mentioned your project that you're trying to relate uh, uh, Islamic uh, uh, philosophy with priests' ideas. So what's the conclusion? Did you think that, that there are like real or ontological contradictions or, or the the standard movement, which seems to me, because if you allow me, uh, uh, the issue and also the, the solution is it, very close to, to a specific kind of, of Vedanta called Veda Veda, and which is very old, like 16th century, something like that. Veda uh, is different and Abheda is, is non-different. So they claim that, that, that God is different and at the same time non-different from from the world and from individual beings. But most of, of Bida Bida scholars, they try to really explain away the, the contradiction. They say that God is different uh, 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 from individual beings, for instance, in one sense, but not different in another sense. So it's, it's very rare. It seems to me that, that there is only one or two like uh, instance of Bida Bida scholars who really accept the contradiction. So, but they still the race to try to, to 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 explain away the contradiction it, and, and correct me if I'm wrong it seems to me that Mulasadra is following the same approach and and then I ask again uh, uh, what's the conclusion about your your priest your project with current priest okay soishun uh, has should be like whatever picture on the phone and I should be the second fast رفت که تناقض داره نه در واقع مثل همون یونانیان و در واقع مسکین آینا شباهت داره و داره رفت میکنه تناقض رو نه اینکه در واقع اکسپ میکنه خود ذات تناقض رو ممان یک مایت در واقع تناقض و ایشون یعنی خب شما الان در فرصه تطبیقی که انجام دارید به چه نتیجه رسیدی؟ نتیجه رسیدی که یک اصالت دیالت تیستی که در ملاسد را هست یعنی اصالتی قائل هست برای چیزی یا نیست در نهایت شما به چه کانکلوژین و یک چه نتیجه رسیدی؟ ببینید من تو ابتدای صحبت هم گفتم که ملاسد را متعلق به سنت اسلامیه و خب سنت اسلامی از مبتنی بر توحید و مبتنی بر رفع تناقضه یعنی یه چیز قطعیه و با گذشت 400 500 سال از مولا صدرا یه سری مسائلی هست و در واقع وقتی ما به این دیالتیزم گرام پریست برخورد میکنیم میخوایم ببینیم که در واقع یک نوع تطبیق دادن یک نوع بازخانی هست بازخانی کاری که من خودم تو رساله دکتری کردم وقتی که در واقع امرجنسیزم رو بازخانی کردم در مولا صدرا 
لزوما اینجوری نبود که حتما مولا صدر یک امرجنتیست باشه ولی این تطبیق و این بازخانی انجام شد به خاطر اینکه نشون بدیم که آیا این فلسفه صدرایی توانایی معاصرت و اینکه در جهان امروزی حرفی برای گفتم داشته باشه داشت یا نداشت من اصرار ندارم اون تناقض باوره بلکه میگم در پارادکس ها که دوگانه هایی که در فلسفه اسلامی وجود داشته این رو همه رو واحد کرده در این اینکه که حرفایی میزنه که از ظاهرش پارادکس دیده میشه اما بله در نهایت اونها رو حل میکنه okay. so, با آقای ریکاردو موافق هم بله Okay, uh, he agrees with you that in traditional interpretation of Mullah Satra within the Islamic tradition, he is no different from the other people. So the same as they are trying to solve the contradiction and everybody understands Mullah Satra so far like this. But uh, he and actually we are approaching Mullah Satra from the Christian type of uh, view And we are uh, re-reading Mullah Sadra in, in such a way that we are trying to say whether we can discover elements of uh, the uh, genuine uh, dialectism in Mullah Sadra text which are not discovered or are not interpreted, well interpreted uh, so far. Well. So uh, we are trying to have a postmodern, if you will, so to speak, a postmodern re-read of uh, Mullah Sadra's work. and uh, actually uh, presenting him as a type of postmodern uh, philosopher as well with some elements of that. So yes, the orthodox understanding of Mullah Sadra is the same as you, yours. And, uh, but uh, we see a potential in this text to be interpreted as an unorthodox uh, type of a scroll. So, uh, and we see elements, uh, elements of the external types of استرن <laughs> Uh, type of comparison so that in, the result can be published in a paper uh, either affirmatively or negatively we will publish the conclusions whether Mola Sandra has the potential to be interpreted as a, a DLA case uh, I doctor, I Misha, بعدن من در مورد یعنی یک لکچری آماده کنم در مورد رساله دکتری که نوشتم که اونجا هم امرجنتیزم رو با مولا صدر بازخانی کردم که Okay. نشون میده مولا صدرا دوگان انگار نیست بلکه در این حال طبیعی و وقتی وقتی ما میگیم که او در واقع وحدت گراس وحدت انگاره یا نفس را همان بدن همان بدن میدونه آیا این میگه معناس که طبیعت گراس نه اصلا چیزی نیست yes so he said that i did the same with another rapper to mola sadra in, in his uh... PhD thesis, uh, which uh, try to uh, find whether uh, there is an element of element of uh, naturalism in the Mona Sandra's work, uh, whether he can be interpreted as a naturalist philosopher, but, and he concluded that no, he is not a genuine uh, naturalist anyway. So I I see an, uh, another question in uh, in the chat. Juan says that. Well, Juan uh, says that, uh, just wondering if you could please uh, retrace the link to Hegel and Marx briefly mentioned during the talk. Uh, well, the doctor began to say, Mullah Sadr, you should be sure that Hegel and Marx are not about it, Mr. Hegel. And in fact, how did you draft it to the end of the day of Mullah Sadr? No, it was not a draft. It was a draft that در واقع مولا صدرا جهان طبیعت رو یعنی مخلوقات رو به غیر از خدا همه رو در یک سیرورت میبینه همه چیز در سیرورت من فقط خواستم بگم که اونها وقتی بحث از در واقع دیالکتیک و سیرورت میکنن به نوعی تناقض رو میپذیرن پیشا پیش اما در واقع مولا صدرا رو من آوردم که بگم که در واقع حرکت جوهری مولا صدرا 
سیرورت همه هستی است اما در این حال مثل اونها باور نداره که در واقع نفی و اثبات حرکت امر ذاتیه در نیست بلکه یک موجود مجرد الهی به نام خدا این کارو کرده یعنی او حرکت رو در درون و ذات و موجود رو قرار داده نه اینکه خودشون چنینن خیلی تشکر میکنم امیدوارم که ضعف زبانی بنده رو ببخشن و توضیحات هم براشون مفید بوده باشه خیلی خوشحال شدم از این حضور در این جمع و امیدوارم که در آینده هم باز من بتونم با این جمع سخنهایی داشته باشم و مفید باشم ان شاء الله thank you very much محمد محمد also thanks everybody for uh, uh, his uh, for their uh, kind of hosting of this talk and he uh, apologizes for the not fluency uh, influence in english so that uh, made it a little bit hard for understanding the talk so uh, thank you everybody uh, i give the floor to ricardo ricardo thank you thank you very much ali thank you very much mohammed it was a very very interesting and insightful talk Thank you everyone for being here. And uh, next month, well, there won't be a webinar because there will be our uh, fourth uh, World Congress on Logic and Religion in Sinaya, first week of September. You are all invited to be there. So because of that, we won't have a webinar uh, next month, but in October, we are gonna have a very interesting webinar about uh, Afro-Brazilian religions. Okay, I hope to see you there. Oh, so, Brazilian religions. What is it? It's uh, it's about native, <laughs> uh, native, Native American uh, religions. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of mixed because in Brazil, these these slaves they they came here and and they brought with them their worldview and their religions, but they mixed them with uh, Christianity. So uh, a philosopher, philosopher is going to talk about those religions. We call them Afro-Brazilian religions. Oh, so voodoo, voodoo uh, type of uh, religions in, in Haiti and this type you mean? Voodoo, voodoo, I mean uh, voodoo faith and uh, this type of religion, Afro-American. Uh, you said voodoo? Yes. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if... if I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not sure what you mean by the word voodoo. <laughs> But anyway... This is uh, the type of religion that exists in Haiti and uh, Central American uh, uh, island. No, 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 not at all. Uh, we're talking about African religions, right? Mm -hmm. And who, who were brought to Brazil by, by the slaves and mm -hmm. being here because they were not allowed to practice their, their faith. Okay, they started incorporating like Christian elements, a kind of syncretism. And from that resulted what we call now Afro-Brazilian religions. There are two main ones, which are Candomblé. And uh, what is the name of the other one? I'm not an expert. I'm not a follower either. But anyway, it's a very interesting uh, uh, thing. And uh, uh, the, the speaker, hold on. Uh, Is, is Pocha, his name. In fact, he has a, a project uh, funded by the John Tenton Foundation. 
where he's trying to, 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 to bring the philosophical insights in this, in this religion. So he's going to speak to us about, about his project, about his findings. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to hear. Very nice. Very good. Wish you all the best in your report. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Thank you again, Ali. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mohammed. And take care. Have a good time. Have a good time. Goodbye. Thank you.